Hey, hey, welcome to Florence, Italy. We are here at the Champions Trophy Timber Sports and we're gonna show you all the ups and downs. So follow me backstage. Jason, what, 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 what's, what are you all about, man? What is this? I see you sweating. What, are you getting ready? Yeah, I'm trying to get warmed up, so um, less than the chance of injury. Uh, I had a bad run last year in the finals, so uh, just trying to trying to do things correctly and uh, not getting any younger, so um, I've got to try and get nice and warm and make sure I'm ready to go. Fair enough. You hear it from the world's best X-Men. Getting warm before you got to go. You got to warm up. Good luck. Sorry. Thank you. Mr. Kuga, how are you doing? Doing great, thank you very much. I see you overlooking the, the new talents uh, from the U.S. Yeah, that's correct. Sam Mulholland from out in California is giving him, making sure that he's got uh, everything in order to perform as best as well he can. That sounds like uh, the best coach on the right spot. Well, <laughs> his real coach is Walt Page, but I'm standing in today while Walt's still back home. So we'll see what happens, and I hope wish these all these boys the best. I think it's going to be a good one. There's going to be a lot of good competition today. I mean, the the the, the uh, six boys from Europe and Nathan Cumberland and Sam from overseas. It's going to be a hotly tested race with all eight rookies tonight. It's going to be off the hook for sure. All right, we're here we're at uh, Spike Milton. Spike, uh, tell me, how's the atmosphere over here? Ah, uh, geez, it's starting to warm up now. I can tell you, it's going to be electric later. These guys, young rookies. Put on a lot of work in to get here, so it's a great honor to see them here and this magnificent competition. And what a set out. What more can you ask for? It's incredible. It's going to be off the chain, eh? Oh, lightning bolts from the sky. Full power. We're going to be on it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're here with uh, German champion, Dirk Brown. Dirk, tell me, uh, the new generation is here. What are you telling these guys? Yeah, good. We're talking about just uh, over the world, you know, what, what, we, what we want to decide because what uh, Seems not that good, so maybe we want to change the block because the color is different and uh, there are little, you see the pinkles there, the, the points there, and so it's, uh, it's, off, it's very often a an, an, an signal that the block is a little bit harder than normal. So maybe we want to change it. He decided just himself, but I think uh, it's, yeah, it's a strange block, you know, because it's a tough competition and then you want to have the same blocks than the other guys. So if you have a, maybe a knot inside, for example, here, you see this. Underhand here, and here is a knot in the middle, you know. So now he draw his block as good as possible. The knot uh, don't want to disturb him, so I hope it will work. Nice, thank you very much. Woo, Sterling! Found me. Wow, you're looking fit, bro. <laughs> Trying to be, got to beat those big boys. Beating those big boys. Tell me, what are you doing right now? Just warming up. Yeah, and I think it's really important when we come into a competition like this that's so anaerobic, takes so much cardiovascular energy to, you got to exert your muscles about 45 minutes before, like tire yourself out, finish. Then you go, relax, and you're good to go. Let's go into the OB van, check out what we do. All right, we're here with Samuel. Samuel, how you doing, man? Hi, everything's fine, working perfect. Incredible. Tell me, how many cameras do you have? We got seven cameras uh, working around 20 uh, workers here and we laid, uh, I would say, uh, one kilometer of cable. One kilometer of cable. Incredible. So you guys been busy already for a couple of days, eh? Yeah, we're here since uh, three days uh, preparing everything and... Looks good. It's a beautiful venue. We're looking forward for the competition. Let's do this show. Let's rock on. Here we go. All right. Well, let's go and uh, visit Bart for a second. Hey Bart, how are you doing man? Having a good time? Yeah, right. Very good. Are we ready for the show? We are ready. Tell me, I mean, you're, you're the, the technical guy. What's, uh, what's so technical about this sport? Yeah, the, the wood is very important. Um, it's a nature product and the technique the guys need and the equipment and the wood should fit together. It all fits together with seal, that's for sure. Uh, but now something on, on the other side. Uh, how many trucks do you have with material all over the place? Oh, we brought four trucks from Holland, uh, we have some trucks from Germany, so we have, uh, and from Austria we have three trucks, so we are here with eight trucks. Eight trucks full of equipment, just for one competition, incredible. How, how big is your team? The team will be uh, 40 people. 40 people, ladies and gentlemen, you're here, here from Bart, 
our technical director, 40 people rocking this show for you guys back home. <laughs> Off to the timekeeping. Very important, these guys. Hey, Richard, a question about when, when, when it goes wrong uh, at the competition uh, site, what, what, what do you see? Here you see the, the competitors staying ready with their hands on the wood. There's a line drawn on the wood. Four fingers of every uh, hand have to be over the line. At the start signal from the gun, we get the zero signal that's here. You see? This is fine. This is fine. Over the line. And then we check out when they are moving their hands. So this was correct. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, that was a little look behind the scenes here in Florence uh, at the Champions Trophy. Don't forget to stay tuned for some more Timber Sport action.